Hello guys, welcome to the first ever restoration video posted on my channel. Now, this computer is a Dell Optiplex GX1. As you can see over here, it has a PC ID, which indicates that it used to be used in an old office. However, I got this off FreeCycle, which is an online service where you obviously trade things around for free. Now if you have a look over here, you'll notice that it runs on a Pentium 3, and it's designed for both Win Microsoft Windows NT and Windows 98. If we move along a little, you can see the Dell, Dell Optiflex GX1 sticker, the power button, and the hard drive button. And if we move along a little further, you can see the floppy diskette ports and the optical drive. Notice how it's very basic on this model, um, because you don't get like thousands of uh, things on the front like you do with modern computers. For example, I've got an old um, Compact Rosario in the cupboard, and it's like got, well, it's got loads of USB ports and SD ports and all manner of different things. Well, on this uh, computer, it only has very basic sort of things that you'd expect on the front. I suppose this is why they bought it for office work, obviously. Now, um, obviously, you've always got the essentials. If I turn this computer around now, on the back we have a speaker input and output. Next to that we have a mic input. Then a bit further on we have internet LAN, a VGA uh, monitor port, which we'll be using today. Then further on we have another monitor port, two USB 1.0 ports, a keyboard and a mouse port, two print ports, and to power input support. Then obviously we have the standard vent. Now if we just zoom the camera in over here, you can see sort of basic system information, like Dell Optiflex GX1, grade C, OS, CPU type PIII, speed 450MHz, me memory, or it's referring to as RAM, 128 megabytes, HDD of a, of uh, 6.4 gigabytes, an optical drive, uh, obviously CD1. So if we power this on now, you can see the BIOS. Um, and just before we do so, if I load the camera down a little. Actually, no, I'll bring it up a little. Actually, uh, you can see inside there. Now I've already had a look in there and. It looks like quite a few things are unplugged and taken off the motherboards, but I don't think this one has just been uh, used for spare parts. I think um, from just having a little look in there, it looks like um, the previous owner of this computer, whether that it was the office or whether um, someone brought it from the office and started using it themselves. Um, then taking the hard drive out. Whatever happened to this computer, the hard drive is missing, I believe, um, because of the way it behaves when you try to boot it up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect that VGA port right there to um, my TV, which is down there. <laughs> um, so yeah, this should be pretty interesting. Let's see what happens. So let's just power it up and see what happens. I have got a keyboard plugged into this. Um, oh, it isn't the right keyboard. It's the keyboard for a Packard Bell Pulsar. Which I'm going to show you in an upcoming video. Just turn this on. Oh, something happened there. Alert! Cover was previously removed. Invalid configuration information. Please run the setup program. Disket drive 0. Seek failure. Obviously, because I think his disket drive has just fallen to the back. Primary hard drive 0. Not bound. Okay. Well, that means I've got 
missed in a new hard drive in part two, but yeah. Yeah, because that's what I'm going to do. Uh, there's no point in pressing F1 because it's just going to try to run um, an operating system which it doesn't have. Let's just go to F2. Here's a Dell BIOS. Alright, so that's obviously wrong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, obviously you can see here that it doesn't have any hard drives. And it's right about its CPU speed, 450 megahertz. Mm. Let's just go to the next page. Alright, so this is basically it really, um, there's not much to see on this. What I'm going to have to do is, um, obviously, uh, buy a new hard drive, and I'm going to do that in part two. But, I mean, it seems to have started up properly, I mean, obviously it doesn't have a hard drive in it, so, um, well, yeah, that's the problem. I don't think any of the computers that I've got at the moment have got hard drives in them. But apart from that, I don't think there's really much wrong with them. Um, although you notice though, when I tried to start it up, it did complain about... Um, just try to alt control delete this there. Um, yeah, there you are. Cover was previously removed. So this obviously means that... Um, yeah, they've definitely taken the hard drive out. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, obviously that's not going to do much, is it? Um, yeah, but it'd be interesting to see if it does throw any errors, that'd be a good thing, really, because then we can see what's wrong with it. Um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up a list of things that are wrong. If, like, um, yeah, there we are, media test failure, check cable. Yeah, I mean... This is uh, quite an old computer and it's in a very long life and obviously if you actually just look down at that um, old computer you notice that it is actually like, it's got quite a bit of wear and tear on it and obviously in part two what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a hard drive into this computer um, and uh, that will be on Windows 98. Um, once I get an operating system on there, although I don't know, I might actually put Windows NT on there. Shall I tell you what, um, if you think I should install Windows NT onto this computer, post it in the comments. If you think I should install Windows 98 onto this computer, post also post it in the comments. And please don't say use it for spare parts or throw it in a skip, because that's what I get quite often. Now, <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously you can see on here that um, the system clock is way out, 1999. So, August the 4th, 1999, I suppose that shows you when it was actually made, though, on a Wednesday. <laughs> um, yeah, quite interesting, really. Yeah, obviously you can see down here it says chassis. Um, chassis. The chest and sh oh my gosh, my push is just gone. <laughs> oh well, um, yeah, you can always. What it's trying to tell you there is obviously um, someone has been mucking around a bit. Press any key. That's quite funny. Look down there at the bottom. I was just reading this. Press it. Like, if we start there. Press any, any edit key will acknowledge the intrusion and arm the system to look for future security breaches. And it shall incinerate them on first sight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quite funny little thing to say there. 
Usually deals are okay though, although they they can be quite slow and they give you the odd BSOD. Um, they're usually like pretty reliable. Um, that's what I like deals for really. I mean, Packard bells are Packard bells, and they are pretty reliable as well. They just like as long as you treat them well, they'll last. Um, and then there's like Fenny Bayos, which just say the same all the time. Um, <laughs> And uh, obviously compact Rosarios and Aces and yeah, it's funny uh, how things do that. Eh? You know, if I go Control or Delete, you might be able to see the Dell. There we go. Yeah, but I mean, there's not much else to show you on here really, because um, obviously it doesn't have a hard drive. So the only thing it can sort of uh, show you is well, basic system information. Um, things like that really. Obviously it can detect that it's uh, had an intrusion, um, but that's about it. Anyway, um, I'll see you in part two of this video, which I'll be posting in a few weeks, because uh, obviously I need to nag my mum to um, buy one on eBay, or I might even just get them all for Christmas and then post them after that. Um, yeah, because obviously I'm not on a wage at the moment, um, because I'm only 15. Um, and, uh, well, basically, you can't, uh, get an, an um, <laughs> you can't get an Amazon account <laughs> until you're much older, so, yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait for that, really. But, um, I can imagine, like, if I bring the money to my mum, um, and now her to buy me a hard drive, she'll refuse the money, and then buy it anyway. Because, <laughs> well, that usually works. So, um, I'll see you in another video, um, and please like and subscribe for more. I've also, uh, check out my channel, because I've got uh, playlists down there, which, obviously, I've got this one here, which will be at the top, and this will be part one of two. Uh, then I'll have a Packard Bell Pulsar, C333. Then I'll have a Packard Bell Legend, 900 Elite. Um, so, like I say, please like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in another video.